Hi everyone, it's Christina and I did a swap with Lynn. Hi Lynn! And it's a fall swap and I'm going to share what's in my box. First, before I take everything, I just want to show you what the stamping that she did. With the little girl here in the rake, it says Hello Autumn, leaves falling down and these pumpkins. Isn't it sweet? Love it. So what I'm going to do is take everything out of the box and I'll be back. So here is Lynn's card. I read it. Thank you very much, Lynn. And then look, see, she did some stamping and coloring right on her envelope. That is so sweet. So our swap was a fall journal. So I'll open this up last and to include some recipes. And look at this huge tag. This is a really big tag. I like that. And she has got pumpkin chocolate chunk cookies there. So ooh la la on that. Um, no, I'm not. She's got all these little packages. Uh, and just to save time on the video, I won't open up each one. But all these little glassine bags have lots of um, like ephemera in there. So like see this one. Let's open one or two. This one has got tons of die cuts in here. Leaves and pumpkins. Just like the pumpkins on the top of her box. So, and you know, Lynn, that um, I am going to put all of this away for next year. Because we're pretty much done with fall. My fall journal, although I might use a little bit, I have still a few pages left in my October daily, which kind of is going to run into November. And then see, look at these leaves. Oh, and then she's even got um, tabs here. And this one looks really fun. I can see there's cats in here. <laughs> oh my, look at this one. This is sweet. Happy Halloween. This looks like Indy. And then there's some bats and cats in here. You know, when I open this up next year, it's gonna be like I just went shopping. And in here, I think there's some felt pieces in here. Don't you just love the sound of vellum? Okay, now this, let's open this up. Oh, these are envelopes. Lovely. These are fall envelopes. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh my, and I love that it's double-sided paper. So she's included four of those. Oh, Lynn, you know, she's just so wonderful at packaging and she's so creative. Okay, love my little envelopes. And then this, this is an envelope made out of patterned paper. It's double-sided. It's beautiful. I love this paper. Here she's got a thankful banner. This little sticker of the guy doing his, uh, raking his leaves. And then inside the envelopes are all kinds of, um, if I can get it out, hold on. <laughs> Look at these cards, these journal cards. Oh, these are beautiful and so colorful. Lovely. And lots of words here. Fall, Halloween words that I can cut out. So I'm going to save those, put those back later. <laughs> and these envelopes, Lynn, I love them. Look at them. I love these envelopes. Definitely saving those. So in this one, we've got, oh, what a beautiful images. I love these. Thank you. I'm definitely going to glue these into my journal pages for next year's fall journal. Oh, and lots of more uh, cutouts here or journal cards. So I took everything out of the envelopes and you can see she's done some... What do you call this? Um, oh, darn. <laughs> I can't remember right now. Remember when we had these when we were little girls? At least I did. And then you had all the little pieces to put the clothes on. Oh, why can't I remember the name of this? Oh, I used to love doing this. Anyhow, it's lots of fun. And let's put that aside. Beautiful doilies here, orange and black. I love using doilies in my journal pages. Beautiful glassine bags. 
little notes, journal card here, and then there's um, cabbage and squash and lots of journal cards. Big four by six journal cards. So love that, Lynn, thank you very much. Then in the box, I didn't take this out, but look at this. These are thread spools, at least I think they're thread spools, that are all attached. But then she has wrapped washi tape around them. What a great idea, Lynn. And then at the top here, she's attached, or no, at the bottom, wait a minute, this must be the top. And at the bottom, she's attached a charm. Oh, Lynn, you're just, oh, you have the best ideas. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, we're all gonna start. I don't know if this is new or if this has been around forever. But um, this is a cool little idea. I like that. I might have to do that one day. And then in here, she's added some sequins. And then in this baggie is lots of trim. Then there's some washi tape here. Little bikes. I love bikes. Napkins, which, oh, look at that one which I'm gonna put in my napkin drawer. Cause I like to, t rip, like, you know how you take them apart. There's usually two or three layers to napkins and then uh, glue them, Mod Podge them into your journal pages. They make wonderful backgrounds. And then she's included some papers here, some butterflies. Oh, I like that. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, this is fabulous. Thank you so much, Lynn. Actually, you know what? I think I should just put everything back in this box and then make a label here um, for, you know, fall of 2020. Okay, so I'm just going to put this back in the box and let's open my journal. I love this paper. It's, it's, it's kind of like wax paper in between tissue paper and wax paper. But uh, that, you know, vintage-y color, isn't that nice? like it. Oh, her journals are always so, so, so gorgeous. So she's tied this up with this ribbon. I think that's that sorry ribbon or something like that. I have some of this in my stash. Lovely fall color. And... Her last journal she made me was a fabric cover, and so is this one. There's stitching all around it. And then she has also stitched on felt pumpkins. Look at this little safety pin with the little beads in there. Love this pattern, this um, fabric that you have there. And then you see the edges of her pages. She has sewn on this really pretty almost like eyelet trim. And she always puts little safety pins on the edges. And here's her inside pocket, bucket list. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. So you know, I don't have to make myself a journal for, uh, for fall of 2020 because I'm saving this. Uh, for next year. There's that stamp again. I'm pretty sure this is a Penny Black stamp. Um, so if you're anyone's interested in it, I would Google Hello Autumn stamp and I'm sure Penny Black will come up. Look at that. So cute. Oops, sorry. Am I out of focus or not out of focus? I'm out of frame. And here's a corner pocket. Love this tag. Like an alteration tag. And she's done some stamping. Love that edging. Pumpkin, so much pretty trim. Pumpkin spice everything. Give thanks. Lots of journaling cards in here. Lots of space um, for me to add all my, you know, things that I like to add in my journals. Love the bike down here. More journaling cards. I like this one. Hey, pumpkin. And there's some book pages in here. Memories. I like that, how she's put the tab on the top there. Fall favorites. Oh, and another one. You say witch like it's a bad thing. <laughs> I 
so cute. Love the purple hat. Oh, and this one here. Oh, I like this little paper clip with the bow. Corner, the big, big pumpkin there for a corner pocket. Love this paper. And then we're at the very back of the book here. There's another big tag, which is fabric. So paper. Look at all the zigzag stitching that she's done. And then this is fabric. Lovely. Beautiful, Lynn. Absolutely beautiful. You do stunning, stunning work. Love this. Look at the uh, beads here which is a beaded bookmark. I mix, I miss that, that's somewhere in here. Oh, that's right in the center of the book. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? So everything is fabulous, Lynn. Thank you so much. And um, I look forward to our next swap, which is Christmas time. And I'm definitely gonna make these. All our favorites in there. Okay, everyone, I am going to, um, prepare for my next video because I want to do a flip through of my October daily. See you all soon. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Lynn. Bye-bye.